I want to show you how to think retrosynthetically about these aldol reactions. It's basically just thinking backwards and trying to figure out what carbonyl compounds we would start with. So if you're given a product like this where we have an alpha beta unsaturation, well remember that that would have come from the beta hydroxy ketone. So that would be your first step is to convert this into the beta hydroxy ketone. Here's still our alpha and beta positions. Next, just think about breaking this between the alpha and beta carbons because that's where the new bond would have been formed. And then you can draw your ketone that would have been the nucleophilic species plus make your um, alcohol that's on the beta carbon, that would be the carbonyl of the starting material. That would be the electrophilic carbonyl. So in the case of this reaction, we have two ketones um, that you know, a base like hydroxide wouldn't differentiate. So this we need to use a directed aldol reaction if you want to prepare that molecule. So if we write this in the forward direction, I would start with cyclohexanone. First add LDA. Then we can add our electrophilic ketone. And then to get the elimination product, You would add base and heat. Um, just to note, the heat isn't always written in, uh, but usually with these, uh, we'll heat it just because heat does favor elimination steps.